Found more than for killing. Huh. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll... We'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. I know that woman. She was with Dutch. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm -hmm. I ain't even got that. You know, 
you're a confusing man, but you might just be the best friend I got, Arthur. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur.
Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, yes. Why, well, okay. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. <laughs> Come in. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's mean. How is your father? He's dead a long time. I lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more. That's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. <sighs> Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I think there's a way. Follow me. All right. Uh... Well, then. Okay, boy. Let's go. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> good. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. Yeah, but we all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He never had any intention of helping those people. This point? I ain't sure if he's got any intention of even getting us out of here. He could be stringing everyone along. But he's holding all the money. He ain't that crazy. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. We got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. 
Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe you're lucky. You got the chance to, to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. I'm here now because Dutch asked me to. I need to keep playing along with his plan until I find out where all that money's hidden. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rain's fall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. All right. This should be fun. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. The main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Patrol. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's two guards out front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Oh, I know. It's awful. Good. Let's make our way around the back. Stay close to the wall. There's a guard right above us. down and follow me. Patrol group. Hope. We'll be in and out before they can come back around. Let's deal with those two at the gate. First, you take one, I'll take the other. Hold 
かな Waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire.
Turn above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. Search the body. Got him. Come on. Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Huh. Whoa, whoa. Uh. I'm fine, I'm fine.
Fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. 
Shouldn't you all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. I'm fine. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. Thank <laughs> you. 
Those are my kids. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into him. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vandalin! Mr. Morgan! Charm! They try to kill my people for oil! For oil! Today we ride once more. Ride with me! Ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust. Yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Ride with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> Please, Mr. Morgan, after you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please, what of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do, Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Timbuktu? That's enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier, Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on. Look up ahead. It's one of them. Are you all right, son? Eagle flies. He needs 
help. They all need help. Quick, somebody help. No, them. no, go. Please hurry. I'll be. Come on. these men. Did anyone see eagle flies? There. Going across the walkway. Got what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. If you go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, now. Fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick! Ugh. Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find him.
sons of bitches! So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. You did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times, the toughest of times. But come on, don't doubt me no more. Search the place. I gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. Not much. I got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. The state bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth. Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur. We're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. You, you silly fool! 
Come on! You saved my life more than once. To give mine for yours, it says it should be. Come on! We need to go. You. You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job, well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually he is nowadays. Sure. Come on. We got to get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride. I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't going to be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to our PT as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Uh, men, uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry about this, about all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch, Dutch is, I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. Things should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you, your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some, some reason to. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines are gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want to set. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Your friend here, my friend, he's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been.
my son. Fast. I'll stay and help them. Yeah, I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. Brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber. Just tell my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tail. Huh? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Well, he did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. Really got me. Uh, are you taking credit for the quality of the trap? I'm just saying that it that we're a bear that got trapped in it. We've been trapped real good. Come on, boy.
I'd be dead. Yeah. I'd if you want for eagle fries. And I feel my touch is all and they live. Hey, get that horse out. Calm down. Yeah. Hi, Bill. Didn't Judge tell you to take a look out? What I do and Damn it, Bill. Ain't no concern of yours. At least I still give a damn about this. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna... <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't, you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But... If we let Jack and the women free, well, then yeah, maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more... And as long as a goddamn train... Arthur, <coughs> this is different. <laughs> We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, I ain't got much to lose, but... You gotta do what's right and cut some loose. John and his family, I, I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, cause if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you... Think it's best. I will see to it. Huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, let's pick up the pace. Train is due in San Denis in an hour. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let all some boys at home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We stay on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of San Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit.
be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. Sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. This is done. Round up, Arthur. You think this is gonna work? Who knows? I don't trust nothing no more. <laughs> that mess in the oil factory. I swear he looked me in the eye and walked away. Like with me in the bank. But listen, Abigail just told me the money is hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Okay, well, let's get through this job and make a plan. Get the money and get the hell out of here. You, Abigail, and Jack go live your life. And you? I reckon head out west, someplace dry. See if I can shake this goddamn cough. First, we got one last train, John. One last train. time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. How much further now? Halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, 
Everybody mount up! We're still going through with this! Of course we are! Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on that train! Let's go. 